Okay, so I just want to show you that I made my initial lines at an angle. But I'm thinking about when I do, so you can see it's at an angle. And that, just a reminder that diagonals add more visual interest. So when you get to your final project, instead of always making lines going straight up and down like this, to practice doing it on an angle. But when I talk about going up and down and out, it is important to think of the top of the box as being the top, even when it's at an angle. So now I'm ready for the next step. So I'm gonna start on the top left, and I'm gonna choose the top left box. I'm gonna make a bunch of skinny stripes going up. And then I'm gonna to go to the box on the lower right and do a bunch of skinny stripes going parallel to the sides. So now I'm moving to the next box. And I'm gonna go on the top left box and make skinny stripes. Here's my next one, skinny stripes. So I'm going to go to this box. There's four boxes inside each box now. Or wait, let me say this. There are four white boxes and one black box. So I'm concentrating on the top left white box and the bottom right white box. And it is all relative to the black box that's in the center, that's in the center of the square. So I find this, I'm gonna finish this first. I find the center square, and then I'm gonna do the top left and the bottom right so that I am consistent in each box. And I'm gonna do super skinny stripes. I'm not gonna cross any lines, I'm just gonna to go to each line. Then I'm gonna do the bottom right of each box. Super skinny stripes going parallel to the sides of the box. So I identify the center of the box, the black center. Then I'm gonna do the top right and the, sorry, top left and bottom right of each cell. So that I am consistent and have a pattern. It's important to have consistency for a pattern. You find the center of the box and you're gonna do the top left skinny stripes then you're going to do the bottom right skinny stripes top left skinny stripes bottom right top left bottom right skinny stripes going straight up and down and you're going to want to be consistent in each row so you find the center top left skinny stripes bottom right skinny stripes each one I recommend that you go in a row so that you are not going to get confused and miss one and start getting confused what the center of the box is and the top left parallel lines skinny stripes then the bottom right skinny stripes up and down so I'm gonna finish the rest on pause. All right, so I'm rounding the corner here at almost done. And just remember, make these lines skinny. If it looks like you can fit another line in between lines, do. So like somebody does this, they're probably not skinny enough. It probably means you can fit more in there. It's easier to just make it skinny from the get-go. So that if some of them kind of touch each other like that, it's not the end of the world. And let's talk about the mistake. So I made one error. There it is. If I made a bunch of errors, then the whole thing would not have a pattern. But you can see, really honestly, unless I stop and point that out, is anybody really going to notice? Probably not. The other thing I'd like to mention is that I made my first couple of lines. Let me zoom out. 
at an angle but as I draw it and as I work on the skinny lines when I work on the four lines that divide up each box I probably turn it so that I have a top and a top and a bottom that are going straight across as I look at it it helps talk about top and bottom and straight up a little easier than if it's at an angle. Go to the next video to finish the weave.